The A-10 Warthog isn't just an aircraft. It's an airborne tank, a masterclass in durability and firepower. It was built for one dominant mission, to offer unmatched close air support to troops on the ground. This aircraft can survive direct strikes from up to 23 mm armor-piercing and high-explosive rounds, while its legendary 30 mm GAU-8A Gatling gun with a rate of fire up to 4,200 rounds per minute, can obliterate tanks. Warthog's formidable prowess in uncontested skies has been repeatedly demonstrated in arenas like Iraq and Afghanistan. Amid escalating tensions in the Middle East, a squadron of US Air Force A-10 Warthogs has been deployed to the region. The sight of an A-10 makes a rather strong statement, and many experts believe that the US military's movements serve as a cautionary message to those considering taking advantage of the Israel-Hamas conflict. Don't! Designed exclusively for close air support, or CAS, the A-10 excels at aiding ground troops by targeting armored positions. Additionally, it undertakes the role of guiding other aircraft in ground assaults, termed Forward Air Controller Airborne. What sets this aircraft apart is its distinctive design approach. The entire structure is crafted around the GAU-8 Avenger autocannon, arguably the most powerful autocannon ever integrated into an aircraft. To grasp the GAU-8's size, visualize it next to a Chevrolet sedan. Excluding other components, the gun stretches 9.35 feet and, with the ammunition feed system, a whopping 19.7 feet. Each barrel extends 7.55 feet. It makes up to 16% of the Warthog's weight. The GAU-8's firepower is evident, dispensing 50 rounds within its first second. It subsequently intensifies to 65 rounds every second, translating to 4,200 rounds in a minute. Each round is the size of a standard Coca-Cola bottle. Engineers masterfully coupled the A-10 with the GAU-8 Avenger, crafting a union that elevated the A-10 to legendary status among aviation icons. Additionally, the A-10 has 11 hardpoints, allowing a mix of various ordinances. Being a flying tank, the A-10 Warthog can take a beating like no other aircraft can. The A-10's survivability is central to its design, ensuring it can endure and operate even under intense enemy fire. Armor constitutes nearly 6% of the A-10's empty weight. Its cockpit and parts of its flight control system are protected by 1,200 pounds of titanium armor, aptly termed the bathtub. This armor can withstand direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles up to 23 millimeters. Combined with its redundant systems, these features enable the A-10 to survive conditions that would incapacitate most aircraft, rendering it a formidable presence in any combat scenario. The A-10's design emphasizes ease in refueling, rearming and servicing with minimal gear. Its straightforward structure allows for upkeep on forward bases, even those with basic amenities. Notably, a distinctive trait for the aircraft is the interchangeability of many of its components. Parts such as engines, main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers can be swapped between the left and right sides. With its expansive wing area, high wing aspect ratio, and large ailerons, the A-10 excels at agility at low speeds and altitudes. This wing configuration aids in brief takeoff and landings, enabling it to operate from rudimentary forward airfields close to battle lines, capable of loitering for extended periods and functioning under 1,000-foot ceilings with a 1.5-mile visibility. It predominantly cruises at a measured speed of 300 knots. This pace makes it especially suited for ground attack roles compared to faster fighter bombers. 
which can find it challenging to target small, slow-moving entities. However, its slower speeds and larger profile also make it vulnerable to modern air defense systems. For years, the Air Force has contemplated retiring the Warthog, citing concerns about its vulnerability to advanced Russian and Chinese air defenses. Yet, time and again, the Warthog persists, its reputation as a robust aerial juggernaut capable of delivering and withstanding substantial damage, contributing to its longevity.